today I have level one of our game, How Deep Will You Go? And we're gonna go around and get US students to answer their questions. Yeah, bro, can I ask you a question? Sure, man. Oh, man, take a cut. What's the first thing you notice about people? Their smile, probably. What motivates you in life? I could say the bag, to be honest. But also my dreams, you know, I want to be in show business and stuff like that. Uh, okay. What's your favorite compliment someone has given you? Mm, I guess my sister said, like, I'm strong. Sometimes I don't recognize some of the things that I've gone through. Acknowledging that was nice. Hey, yo, bro, you mind if I didn't even answer a question? Just take a card. What do you find attractive in a person? Teeth. What's your biggest pet peeve? You know when you're like watching a movie and someone's already seen it and they're like constantly like, oh, this part's coming up or like, oh my god, pay attention to this part. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. What's the most painful thing you've ever been told? Should I like this? Probably I wouldn't be able to do something that I really wanted to do. Like what? I wouldn't be able to go to the college I wanted to go to, but then I'd end up here. This is my dream college. I got rejected and now I'm here. What are you afraid of passing down to your kids? Uh, procrastination. Describe your favorite moment in life. How does it feel now? That's an interesting question. I would say my favorite moments in life, it's kind of just a collection of moments, but I'm really into theater, so my high school theater. And I look at it fondly, and I hope to find it here, because I study theater here. So I feel a bit of nostalgia for it, I'd okay. say. Would you like to play this game that we're coming out with? Um, what game? All right, so it's called How Deep We Go. Each level gets deeper, and this mm -hmm. is the last level. It's getting really deep. Each question you pick will make it think. Okay. <laughs> what question have you always asked yourself since you were a kid? How can I make a difference in the world, I guess? Have you like, found that yet? No, I think I'm still discovering myself, my passions. <laughs> Thank you. Could I ask you a question from our video? Sure. I bet. You can just pick one of the cards. It might be a little deep, so just prepare for it. <laughs> okay. What's the most important thing life has taught you so far? I think it has taught me that everyone's not permanent. Everything's temporary. Do you have any misunderstood boundaries? Uh, I feel like I'm really social, but I don't like being touched really that much. Uh, I feel like big people, you know, it's just like, there's a little bit less of a standard of like respecting that boundary, so yeah. What are you sure of in life? Ooh. Probably like my relationship with my family. I know I can always turn to them for anything. All right. What do you think your past self would think of you now? I think I would hope that she'd be really proud. I feel like I've made a lot of a lot of efforts to better my life and like better my mental health. And I think at this point in my life, I've never been in a better place. So I feel like that's a good thing. I feel like she'd be happy. That's a great answer. Proud of you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> what is something your mom warned you about that ended up being true? She warned me about these girls, man. And uh, you can't trust these, these girls, man. You can't do it. Biggest insecurity? Shit. I got like really skinny legs. Like, I mean, my upper body's not that bad, but I'm really fucking skinny, so. Pick a card and answer the question on the card. Okay. What's your favorite trait about yourself? My height. What's your height? 5'9". Okay. Oh my god, I'm so excited. What's your favorite compliment someone has given you? Probably that I have like a nice smile. <laughs> I can agree on that. You do have thank a smile. you, thank you. I know that sounds weird, but like my biggest fear is like if I smell bad. So like if someone's like, oh, like you you smell really nice today, or like I like the perfume you're wearing, I feel like that's a really good compliment. What's your favorite compliment someone has ever given you? Um, I'd probably say that I smell good. <laughs> yeah. It is <laughs> when you're feeling down. Probably Frank Ocean as of right now. Okay. What song? Uh, Novocaine puts me in a good mood. Okay. Name. Okay. What's a place you need to travel to before you die? Uh, Nicaragua. What is the first thing you think people notice about you? My hat. <laughs> What's one big thing you want to change about yourself? Oh, I want a bigger butt. <laughs> you want a bigger butt? <laughs> I mean, you could change that. Um, who do you love most in life? My best friend, Amelia. <laughs> <laughs> What inse insecurities have you grown out of? I used to be really shy, but I grew out of that because I started liking to meet new people and talking to them. Honestly, I can't fan it with one hand anymore, so you gotta should, should I just yeah, fan it should pick, myself? Yeah. What's the first thing you think of when you say, I love? When I think of love, I think of my mom. Okay. What is the song you play by yourself but never with other people? Um, never Enough. It's by Lauren Allred. <laughs> What's on your mind right now? Um, I have a brain anatomy test tomorrow that I'm probably gonna fail. What's the most embarrassing situation you've been in? I got pants in school, yeah, in the middle of lunch. Everybody got one lunch, so everybody was there. 
Um, something is a big deal to me, but not to others. Wearing a hoodie in the summer. I know I like wearing hoodies in the summer. Other people think it's like a sin. I look bad. What was the happiest point in my life now? Because I got food. This one says, what's the most humbling experience you've ever had? In middle school, we have like this geography bee. They asked me where Canada was. And I didn't know where Canada was. Like literally the region, like I literally did not know. And everyone laughed at me because it was the easiest question. And yeah. Read it out loud, do you answer? Level three, getting deep. What chances do you wish you had taken? I wish I uh, took a chance on this girl back in high school. Describe your favorite moment in life. How does it feel now? Shit, joining the military, knowing that, you know what I'm saying, I'm changing for the better. I know when I get out, I'm doing big things. Hey, look at your outfit, by the way, man. When asked how are you, how often do you answer truthfully? Never. Why? Because um, I just don't want to carry negative vibes. You know, when I say, like, I'm good, that makes them feel good, like, you know, that, you know, they just checked up on me, you know, and um, I'm fine, they don't have to worry about me. Are you okay? I mean, for the most part, yeah. I mean, everyone goes through their shit, bro. I'm just trying to get through mine, you know what I'm saying? What's a conspiracy theory you believe in? All right, this one's gonna be fun. I've got too many of them. <laughs> but uh, JFK was not assassinated by a random person. Lee Harvey Oswald or whatever was not a random guy. His assassination was absolutely planned and it was because he wanted to disband the CIA. And if you look into what the CIA does now, you'd understand exactly why he wanted to do that. Oh, what past tra <clears throat> trauma do you still deal with today? Um, this one is like really bad. So I'm really short. I'm like only four nine. So when I was like 10 years old, my dad would make me drink milk in front of him. And he was like, you can't leave until you finish because he thought that me drinking milk every day would make me grow. In what way was it traumatic? I don't know, it just made me feel like being short was a bad thing. I mean, my dad is short, my mom is short. Yeah, <laughs> and it used to make me feel really insecure. But, um, you know, I'm confident with my height now, so I'm tiny but mighty. What's the most important thing life has taught you so far? Probably that if you stay genuine and remain true to yourself, things are gonna come for you. You don't have to really put on a facade or be something that you're not or someone you don't wanna be. I feel like ever since I've learned to accept who I am and be more authentic. That's a good answer. So what was your moment of uh, like, like realizing that you need to just accept who you are? When I was in high school, like probably freshman year, I kind of did stuff that I didn't want to do because I was trying to fit in. And when the pandemic hit and I was kind of away from that, I sort of realized that I was putting on a facade. And it was sort of refreshing to be like away from that and be able to reflect. And ever since then, it's kind of when I've started accepting who I am. What's a memory you never want to let go of? Oh man. If you want to get like really deep, I, want to, I had a Sunday school. I always got taught Sunday school when I was going to church when I was younger with my my grandma's sister, which is like my great aunt, I was very, very close to her when I was young. I used to go over to her house all the time. She was basically just like another grandma to me. I would never want to like lose my memories of her being healthy and everything because she died like two years ago of cancer. I never think about that. I always think about the ways that she influenced my life and the things that she did when, when I was younger and just the happiness I found in her and being around her. What's something that she taught you? Her husband died when, when he was very young. He, her husband died when they were like 35 of a heart attack. She kind of always taught me to like, there's always a positive impact that it has on you even if you're not in a good position at the moment. If you look through the bad things, there's always something good that comes from it.